Okay, Skypod, turn on bedroom lights. Turn on hallway lights. Brighter, please. Ayan. Good job. <laughs> ah. Can you open the ref? Napong meron jan. Please give me the apple. I love. <laughs> Why are you hiding? I don't know. Paningat So a lot of you guys have been asking us kung bakit wala kami smart home, hindi kami naka smart bulbs, and if I'm being perfectly honest, ang daming nag-offer sa amin ng free smart home products. Let's say, for example, the automation of our air conditioning. Actually, binili nga namin yun. It's this one. I don't recommend you buy it. And it's because I just love things to work. I love tech. I love gear. I love all things that make me more productive. Pero ang problema, if you're asking me to open an app and wait for 10 seconds for it to work, I'm most likely not gonna use it. So, this is my principle when it comes to having anything tech in our home. Dapat it should work almost like a light switch. A light switch would never ask me to restart the router, to open an app, and it works instantly. Hindi yung, hey, turn on the lights, and then, tong, 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 tong. Wait 10 seconds, and then, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. <sighs> so, yun yung number one pet peeve ko. And in this video, we're going to talk about all the items that make our home smart without all the extra baggages. Meron tayong smart locks, meron tayong smart cleaners, meron nga tayong oven that cooks your food automatically. It detects what you put in and siya na bahala without any input on your part. So, let's get into it. First up, we have our only voice activated item in the SkyPod and this is it. Turn on pool. Wait, narinig niyo yung noise? That is why we put this in. Turn off pool. Ayan. Yeah. We put this in because yung switch ng pool namin nasa likod and every time we shoot video, sobrang ingay. So we had to put this in. This was provided by LifeSmart. Ang ganda ng support nila and every time I call them, meron talagang sumasagot within like minutes. So if you're using mga ganitong mga smart home products, make sure your supplier has a good track record and is reliable. So dito sa bahay namin, we asked them to put in this particular one. They asked to do a lot of other stuff in our home. And although I trust them very much, they're my friends, I kind of don't like na sometimes, maybe 5% of the time, pinapaantay ako ng 10 seconds or paminsan, the phone doesn't understand me. But for the pool, okay siya. But if it's like a light or lighting up the room or mga air conditioning, I'd rather use a remote, I'd rather use the switch kasi instant, it doesn't keep on asking me to debug it. And again, it's all about ease of use. The less friction points to use a technological product, technological, <laughs> the better. We also had offers to put in motorized curtains. I'm sorry for the background. It was just Scott's birthday, so we had a lot of things. May balloon pa. So, instead of making it voice activated, ito lang yung ginawa namin. We actually spent for this. Remote na siya, guys. It works just as fast, no need of debugging, and everything works exactly how we want it and instantly. So, that's always my concept when it comes to anything tech. Okay, come here, come here. Our house is invaded by Scott's stuff. It's the Scott pod. <laughs> a small, small human being with a lot of space requirements. <laughs> Guys, we have a lot of CCTVs in our home. Parang PBB house talaga. Kumpleto lahat. So we have a lot of experience when it comes to CCTV. This one is from Nest. And it has the same problem that I was saying kanina. Every time you open the app, it works fine. But it asks you to wait 5 to 10 seconds before you can see the video, etc. It's just buggy. Maybe because yung servers nila nasa US and this was imported from the US. They don't actually sell in the Philippines. 
So probably, but I highly, highly recommend the Xiaomi version, which we were, we've mentioned this webcam in mga four videos na siguro lang. Even I recommend it. <laughs> yeah, so we have that in Scott's room, but may bago kaming na-discover. We have outdoor cameras and indoor cameras that are from TP-Link. It's called the Tapo webcam, and it works just as smoothly and just as well. I'll put the links in the description below. So the beauty of the Xiaomi and the Tapo webcams is that pag open mo na app, nandun lahat. And everything is just stored in an SD card. You don't have to pay monthly for their servers. That is why I recommend it. And yung outdoor version ng Tapo, meron siyang mga zones na pwede mong ilalagay. And these zones would be the intruding zones. And then mag a alarm siya. Because this is my number one pet peeve when it comes to CCTV. Kung may tao na pumapasok, it records everything, but it doesn't deter the intruder. Diba? So you need that alarm to deter the threat. Okay, the next thing, this is still from Nest. Nest partnered up with Yale. And we're pretty happy about this. The thing about this that's good is that we have our own passcode, Chris and I. And meron coming visitor passcode for our family and friends na pumapasok. We can set it up. We can set it up for one-time use. We can set it up for a certain time frame. Time frame, like for example, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. lang sila. Or even yung mga kasambahay namin, they can't go into the house at a certain time frame. Their passcode doesn't work. And the other thing that's good, when we used to travel, is that we can open our home via Wi-Fi. So whenever we have things that need to be repaired, may pumapasok, we can give them access anytime we want. So we chose this one in particular because ang linis, there's no doorknobs. So makikita natin that it kind of blends in with the facade na secret door, kunwari. Ito ang example of a bad product. This works 50% of the time. This is also from Ness. I don't blame Ness because this was made to work sa US. I don't know, maybe it's something with their servers. I don't know. Anyway, we just installed a wireless doorbell. Ayan. Instead of using this one because this doesn't work at all. I've tried to set it all the time. It works half the time, siguro. But yeah, so go for something na diretso talaga. Ting, ting, ting. Ayan. I'll put links to this below. This doesn't require any batteries, guys. Sobrang ganda. And no wires, no batteries. I just stuck it on there. So now we're here at Chris's, one of Chris's favorite appliance. Tama ba, love? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ito yung perfect appliance for those that don't know how to cook or... If you're lazy. Yeah. Or if you don't want to have to Google, you want... Like, you want a perfectly cooked meal. You want me to explain it? Yeah. <laughs> she uses this more than me, actually. It's I amazing. use this for steak. See, Chris uses this every day for toasting bread. Scotty's food. So this is a June oven. It's a smart oven. So meron siyang mga built-in programs, and it has a camera inside that detects whatever you put in it. For example, you put a piece of bread. Yeah. Tingnan natin if it can detect. Boom. Ah, it's wheat amazing. or white? Uh -huh. Wow. Pinapapili ka pa. Right. So, yeah, this is wheat bread, and then you just click it, and then, siya na bahala. You don't have to think about it, and then it just alerts you when it's done. For me, as a lazy cook, nilalagyan ko ng steak, I just put this thermometer in that gets connected here, and then, siya na mag cook Pag sinabi mong medium well, it really is medium well or medium rare or whatever you want. Diretso na siya. And since this is a smart oven, it's connected to the Wi-Fi. So, palagi siyang nag update with new recipes all the time. The only thing that you need to be aware of when you're using this one is that it's 110 volts. And since it's an oven, you need a big ass AVR that we have here. It has to be imported from the States. I'll put links below. Pero, yeah, you can have it shipped here. And I feel, we feel, that it's very, very sulit. Worth it. Worth, worth it. it. Worth it. Actually, nag-argue pa kami ni Chris nung una. Kailangan ba natin? Kailangan, hindi ba? Parang, mm, sige. It took us a while, right? The back and forth. And yeah. Then, and I even got myself this real oven here. Yes. And we actually use this more. Right. Yep. Even if this is smaller. Right. Mm -hmm. Good job, love. 
Uh, this is... The, the dolphin. Yes, we call it baby shark. So a little story is that I've talked about this before and this has been one of our best investments because we used to clean our pool maybe twice every week and then paminsan ako pa yung nagbabrush dun sa ilalim. It was such a hassle and then we hired someone from the outside pa to clean our pool that we paid monthly. Ito, bawing bawi na. It's a little bit expensive. I think we got it for about 40, 50,000 pesos. But sobrang bawi na siya because we use this every day to clean our pool and our pool has never been cleaner. You just put it in, press the on button and siya na magna navigate all throughout the pool and it has filters inside that can help pick up mga leaves, mga dirt, mga dust and super clean na yung pool without us thinking about it. All right. Vacuum time. This is our automatic vacuum robots. We have one from Narwhal and we have one from iRobot. Konti na lang magiging vacuum reviewer na ako. <laughs> Dami natin vacuum, my gosh. There's a lot of differences between the two. Both are very good, but the Narwhal has a mopping function and is quiet. But yung problem niya is that for big, big spaces, when it mops, kailangan niya bumalik at bumalik at bumalik para maging basa yung mop. So it takes a lot longer. This one has a more powerful vacuum, but it's a lot noisier. But for me personally, 50-50 pa ako. I really, really love this because it can clean very well. But sobrang istorbo sa, sa life yung noise niya. Every single day, that's what we hear every morning while we're having breakfast. So it gets annoying after a while. That so, one can vacuum too, the narwhal. This one can vacuum too and is quieter. Pero yun nga, I think this one has a stronger vacuum. Yeah, this one gets stuck. This one, no? More. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. This one has better navigation skills. Parang mas pang off-road talaga Pang solid. Siya. Uh -oh. Yeah. There's also a cheaper version if you don't have a very big house, if you don't have a big space to clean. Um, the sister of Chris uses it. It's a Xiaomi version, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they love it. So I'll put all the links down below. Guys, sing it ko lang pala. This is the Zen Screen Touch. This was sent over by ASUS. And yan ko lang nalaman na meron palang such a thing as a portable monitor. So it's a very thin tablet. Meron pa siyang kasamang ballpen na pwede mo ring gamitin to sign documents on screen. And this also doubles as a stand. Wow, ganyan lang siya. Clever. So you connect it via HDMI. So, ang ganda with this, I always, always use multi-screen whenever I'm working. So, it's portable and you can bring it around and you can do things like transfer to windows. And then you can take out the ball pen and sign things here. Very, very easily. Next is our NAS device. We hide it here. Wag na, wag na natin tingnan dito kasi ang gulo, ang daming wires. <laughs> but this is our NAS device. I talked all about our NAS device in my work from home video, but this is something we're very, very happy with. I'm sure you can relate. Mm -hmm. Because this is like a hard drive for all of us. Connected kami, even though it's just here and I'm there working or in my office working, makaka-connect kami and we can access files simultaneously. So it's like a cloud storage na malaki yung storage and nandito yun sa physical mo and everyone in the house as well as outside the house with internet access can use this device. So <gasps> Don't tell our hackers. They're gonna hack us. Hack, 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 hack. <laughs> yeah, so we're very, very happy with this. I'll put links down below. This is the Synology DS920 Plus. Oh, I naalala ko pa. Mm. Alien. Para ang weird, no? Tinanggal ko siya. Wala nang internet sa bahay. Parang there's something missing in the house. Do you feel that every time our internet is down? Parang we're disconnected from the world. Oh, uh, alam mo yung pag may brown out, tapos tinatry mo pa rin mag-on sa <laughs> ilaw. Parang ganyan yung ano, internet. Feeling. Sometimes parang walang internet. I-google ko kaya. Ay, oo nga pala, walang internet. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is our main router. This was provided to us by ASUS. This is the RTAX88U. And this is the heart and soul of all the tech in the SkyPod. The very, very beauty of this is that this is our main one. So, nakatago siya dun sa cabinets namin. And ang lawak ng signal niya, this actually covers 80% of our home. It has Wi-Fi 6, so 
the latest in Wi-Fi technology and it has 2G and 5G connectivity. Pero it seamlessly switches kung ano yung pinaka bagay sa'yo wherever you are in the home. Ito, yung luma naming router. We were happy with this but it's white and it has a sticky thing. Malagkit na siya. It has dust yeah. all over. Medyo luma na talaga siya and it doesn't fit the Skypod aesthetic. When we put it there, sobrang... Mm. So, Asus kindly sent these in. So fancy. Yes. yes. This can work on its own without this, but para sa atin na sobrang important yung Wi-Fi all the time, we place this as an extra node or to extend the Wi-Fi. And this one is in our office and the other one is in our room. And if you look at it, bili na po, ma'am, sir. Sobrang bagay. It matches the black and gold aesthetic of the Skypod. <laughs> so this has all the features of this. Mas sleek lang yung design nito, mas gaming yung design dito. So this is our main one and it throws here and it throws all the Wi-Fi in our house. And to be honest, meron talaga siyang an extra smoothness to the Wi-Fi in our house versus the old Wi-Fi we were using. So, ito, with all these working together, wala nang dead spots sa bahay namin. And this is using AI mesh technology using the Wi-Fi 6. So, I think of it like this. For example, ang lakas ng internet namin. And then, parang may tunnel siya usually na parang all the data is like funneled towards one single point. So, may bottleneck siya. With the AI mesh, parang ito yung nagmamanage ng all the network. So, it's like a big lane highway, like a 10-lane highway na dire-direcho without all the traffic that's involved. So, that's one thing. The other good thing is that yung old namin router wanted us to pay a subscription fee for security. Like I was like thinking, bakit kailangan pang bayaran that it's already there. You already have the software. Bigay niyo na lang yun. Nakakainis. So, I'm happy with this one because it has proper network security and it's lifetime free. So, free. Free. Di, di ba, na, nakakainis talaga yung, yung times na it's just there. Why don't you let us use it? Parang wag nyo na kaming, we already bought the router. Wag nyo na kaming pabayarin pa. Gisulit ang bayad. Mm. So, yeah, that's the Asus series. This is the Asus X-T8. Tell <sighs> me yung Wi-Fi is like the force. Force the force, strong. the invisible force in your home. To be honest, the bahay namin may not be the smartest of homes. We try to avoid anything that's buggy and anything that's wala siyang return on investment, walang masyadong ROI. So that's why even if we're offered free smart home items, hindi namin tinatanggap lahat. But with all these ones that I've been talking about, I'll put all the links down in the description below because we can fairly say that we're happy with the items that I just told you about. So, that's it. I'll see you later.